I wanted to do a serious video on the Gavin incident on the Friday night tights. I was watching the whole time and I was surprised at the very beginning when he started in with his tone and his attitude and his vehemence attacking so-called nerdy things. At very first, I thought it's an act and everybody's in on it. And, uh, and then shortly they would reveal it and sort of get off the act. But I quickly saw from the reaction of the people in the panel plus Gary that uh, um, I think they were shocked, surprised, and maybe embarrassed, I could see in their faces. And then, of course, when they started responding, some of them were more angry than others. They, I think they all held their uh, tempers well. Um, I still thought for a while, well, maybe it's an act that Gavin's doing and he's going to come off it like, like an Andy Kaufman kind of thing. And he's going to do it for a little bit and then tone it down and come off it and, and say, oh, I was just play acting, you know. Obviously, what he did at the end, that's not the case. He didn't have well thought out uh, reasons for not liking superheroes, comics, that kind of thing. And when you admit you like baseball or sports, I'm sorry, that's pretty much the same kind of thing that uh, man lives by more than bread alone. So people need entertainment, relaxation, something to get their mind off the daily uh, chores and, and, and worries and things of that nature. So ever since people were uh, you know, evolved. They were making art in cave war, uh, walls and they were uh, telling legends and stories and that kind of thing. So I don't know what he's talking about. And he tried to say like baseball is a, it's like an evolutionary thing where people group together. And I think that may be true. They People like to be in groups and identify as a group and pick a team near where they live. But uh the idea that people like heroes has been throughout history too. You can go through legends and myths and there's all kinds of heroes that there are stories about. Um, Jason and the Argonauts or uh, Odysseus, Ulysses, uh, fighting different monsters, going on different missions. Hercules that was like, or Heracles, however you want to say it, was half man, half God. And fighting different monsters or doing tasks that no human could do. There was one where story where he had to uh, clean out these uh, stables that were so full of horse dung that no human could do it and he diverted a river. Well, that's something the dang Hulk could be doing. You could have that in a Hulk comic where he had to clean something and divert a river. It's, like, it's no different. Um, and the notion that if you read something, that's more intellectual, more adult. I mean, there's all kinds of stories that are just garbage or um, uh, torture or that kind of stuff. Stories or horrible science fiction. Or um, if you read a story, why is it making any different? If you read a short story, who goes there? Or if you see John Carpenter's The Thing, they're both got their pros and cons, but they're both relaxation, entertainment. What's the difference if, if somebody likes to watch a movie or somebody likes to read something? The one's not any better than anything else. Um, so he didn't have a reasonable, rational, even discussion. It's sort of a anger in, his, in him. And uh, I don't know what was motivating him, especially what he did at the end. And he went through and asked everybody and they were talking about their family and their kids and this and then that. And then he goes and pulls that stunt at the end. It's like, uh, why would you jeopardize? Like Gary gets money off of this and everything. Why would you do that? There's a potential destruction or loss to him of his business or effect on it, what motivation would Gavin have? He doesn't benefit. Why would he do that? It's like almost psychopathic or something. There's no point in it. 
he can not benefit from it anyway, but he can harm them. And I don't understand the motivation at all. So um, I don't know why they had him on. I don't. I almost turned it off too in the beginning, but I just kept thinking, well, he's going to reveal that uh, it's a, in an act. He's playing acting, but he it just got worse. And um, I don't know why he didn't keep watching to the end. But then when he did what he did at the end, I'm like, um, I, I don't know. Even after that, I was hoping it was some kind of they reveal it was some kind of uh, fake thing or something. It's just uh, because I can't believe it. But um, later they revealed that he knew they were live too. So there's no excuse on that. They was playing a trick on him. He thought it was taped and they could cut it out. Like, no, um, I don't know. Anyway, I had made a previous video and I tried to use some absurdist humor and I may take that down because I think I failed. I was trying to show that uh, what if all the guests acted like him and, and the audience, which was me, and like what a messed up place that would be. But I don't think people understood the moral and I think I failed in doing it actually. It's more on me, not that people misunderstood it. I didn't do a good job doing it. So I may take that down. I don't know. I haven't decided yet. but. If it's not there, you know we took it down. <laughs> okay, thanks for tuning in.